Paul Robeson Room is named for the actor, the athlete, the activist, Paul Robeson, and it represents what we're trying to do here in African and African American Studies at George Mason University. My name is Mark Hobson. I am Director of African and African American Studies and also Associate Professor of Intercultural Communication at George Mason University. I'm in a privileged position to meet and work with some of the most phenomenal students um, from all over the world, many of whom are interested in the experiences associated with Black or African American uh, people and culture. One of the things that we encourage is that people begin to understand more about the world around them. So if you don't identify as Black or African American, that doesn't make the information any less significant, any less valuable. Certainly African and African American studies uh, would be as valuable as Russian studies, Middle Eastern studies, uh, religious studies, etc. And so we encourage all students to come out and at least take one class to better understand this very dynamic, unique, and expanding program. So think about it, 1619 through 1865. That's approximately 250 years, more than 250 years of legalized slavery. Ask yourself, what could you do if you had someone working for you for free today? Now, what could you get done if you had someone working for you for free in a week, in a month, in a year? And we're talking more than 250 years of legalized slavery. This has been a busy and productive year for African and African American studies. We began the year with a special visit from the actor, the entertainer, the comedian, Craig Robinson. We were also proud to host Ilyasa Shabazz, daughter of Malcolm X. We also had a visit from Ibram X. Kendi, the author and scholar. Additionally, we were visited by Kianga Yamada Taylor of Princeton University and Robin Boylorn from the University of Alabama. In addition to the fabulous scholars and wonderful personalities that came through our doors, we were also able to make a trip to the National Museum of African American History and Culture, where we learned more about the Black experience. And we're planning for another big year. Certainly there's much more to come. The last thing that I want people to learn or walk away with is that your journey does not begin and end with you. You are always borrowing from history. You're borrowing from those who came before you. You're borrowing from the foundation that was here before you. And you will extend or inform those who come after you. So your attitudes, your actions, those things will impact the next generation. So understand that you are responsible for what you teach and what you give to that next generation in order to be responsible to yourself and those who came before you.